Hey, this is Lloyd Johnson, and I'm going to go over uh, how to start a uh, PA28 this morning. Uh, after all the exterior stuff is done, we come inside uh, and we get ready to go through our checklist. Okay, uh, we get our cockpit set up like we like it. Uh, we take the keys out, set them up on the dash for safety, so that everybody can see the keys are on the dash uh, and not in the ignition, because we don't do that until we're ready to start. Okay, next we go through our before start checklist. Uh, Hobbs and Tack, we record that in the book, and we make sure we log everything down. Uh, for our start times. Uh, I also like to keep that uh, on my kneeboard uh, so that I have a good idea uh, during the flight uh, how much flight time has gone by uh, in addition to my normal uh, checks. <clears throat> uh, we go through our passenger briefs if necessary uh, and we select the uh, fuel selector to the lowest tank. Um, we always like to start off with the fuel at the tabs uh, here um, so it doesn't really matter as long as the fuels are matched. Uh, and then I always uh, like to keep track of which tank I'm starting with, so I go ahead and write that down as well. Um, you'll see me uh, write down the time at start, and I'm actually start a timer on my watch for 30 minutes uh, for fuel selector uh, switch. Okay, uh, that keeps me uh, even between the tanks. Uh, it helps me keep a really good track of how much fuel is going on because you can't really trust uh, the fuel gauges. Although sometimes they work. Um, I like just to keep a good log uh, during the flight so I make sure I never get low on fuel. Okay, as we're going through there, uh, we make sure our trim is in neutral, okay? Uh, avionics are all off, okay? Some of them have an avionics master switch, some of them you actually have to uh, move them to off uh, manually. Uh, it just depends on which aircraft you're flying, okay? Uh, circuit breakers need to be all checked in. And then we go through our uh, engine start process, okay? All right, well, for, uh, for a regular start, okay, I'm not talking a cold day start, regular start, uh, our fuel mixture is going to be mixed, carb heat's going to be off, uh, we're going to bring those anti-collision lights on, uh, bring the master on, and then we're going to bring the fuel pump on and prime it. Uh, so a normal start, the way we do, we bring that fuel pump on, we go forward and back three times, and then crack it about a quarter of an inch, okay? Um, at that point, brakes are hold, we yell prop clear. Check my oil pressure, if everything's good. I go ahead and turn that tube pump off, bring my avionics on. Clean up my mixture, uh, make sure our flaps are re ready, and I check the uh, check myself ready to taxi. Okay? And that's pretty much the start procedure.